Hello everyone, in this video we will see how to upgrade Nexus Dashboard and then how to upgrade Nexus Dashboard Fabric Controller. Now let's look at the high level upgrade procedure that we will follow. First, we will disable the existing installed Nexus Dashboard Fabric Controller app. Second, we will upgrade Nexus Dashboard to 2.21H. Next, we will enable back the Nexus Dashboard Fabric Controller app. And finally, we will upgrade Nexus Dashboard Fabric Controller to 12.1.1e. Few things to remember before you begin the installation are as follows. You must download the .iso image for all ND upgrades even though you deployed a .ova image initially. Second, take a backup of your NDFC in operational state by navigating to NDFC, Operations and Backup and Restore. Third, don't forget to disable the NDFC app before you begin the Nexus Dashboard update. And finally, ensure you have only one version of NDFC app on your Nexus Dashboard. All right, let's log into ND. For this video, I am using a single node virtual Nexus Dashboard. This is the Nexus Dashboard landing page. Click on Admin Console. And here in the overview page, you can see that the system is in healthy state. Click on services. You can see a single version of NDFC is running. Click on the dots next to NDFC and click on disable. Click on disable to confirm disabling NDFC app. We have now disabled NDFC version 12.0.2f. Next, click on Operations and Firmware Management. Here you can see the current installed ND version is 2.1.2D. Click on the Images tab and click on the Add Images button. Select Local and choose File button. I have already copied the .iso image of ND 2.21H to my local system. Select the .iso image and click on Upload. Wait for the image status to change to Downloaded. Next, go to the Updates tab and set up the update. In the version selection screen, select the 2.2 1H version that you uploaded and click Next. In the confirmation screen, verify the details and click Begin Install. The installation progress window is displayed. You can navigate away from this screen while the update is in progress. This step may take up to 20 minutes. Next, click on the Activate button to activate the new image. It may take up to 20 additional minutes for all the cluster services to start and the GUI to become available. The page will automatically reload when the process is completed. Log in again with your credentials and now you can see that Nexus Dashboard is upgraded to version 2.21H. Next, go to Admin Console and verify that the system is in healthy state. Go to Services and enable Nexus Dashboard Fabric Controller application. Now we can upgrade Nexus Dashboard Fabric Controller or NDFC to version 12.1.1e. Go to Actions and Upload Service. Select Local and choose File button. I have already copied the app image of NDFC 12.1.1e to my local system. Select the image and click on Upload. Once the upload is complete, wait for the application to be downloaded to Nexus Dashboard and get deployed. On the dots icon next to Nexus Dashboard Fabric Controller card, click on Available Versions. Click Activate on Nexus Dashboard Fabric Controller 12.1.1e version to initiate activation. After the services are enabled, the button on the Nexus Dashboard Fabric Controller card shows open. Wait until all the ports and containers are up and running. Nexus Dashboard Fabric Controller is now upgraded to 12.1.1e version. Click on Open to open NDFC SAM Controller. Here you can see your previously discovered fabrics and the details on the SAM Controller Dashboard. Finally, we can delete the old 12.0.2f version 
by going back to Nexus Dashboard, Admin Console and Services. Click on the dots icon next to Nexus Dashboard Fabric Controller card and click on Available Versions. Here, click on the Delete icon next to 12.0.2f. With this, we come to the end of this video on upgrading Nexus Dashboard and Nexus Dashboard Fabric Controller. Hope this was useful. Thank you.